Good day, students. How are you today? It is time for English language lesson. Where you are seated, I want you to touch your head, your nose, your eyes, your hands. It's okay. Can you give me the collective name for those areas you just touched? Parts of the body. Good. You are going to use the response parts of the body to perform the next activity. Now, let's read this sentence together. One, two. The student comes home by himself. There are six words in that sentence. What are those words called in grammar? Yes, figures of speech. You are very close. Parts of speech, correct. Quickly, let's mention the parts of speech you have been taught in the past. Pronoun, adjective, verb, Noun, adverb, preposition. You are simply the best. In the sentence, the student comes home by himself. What part of speech is the word comes? It is a verb, thank you. The word comes indicates an action, what the boy does. In another sentence, the bottle is broken. Broken is what? A verb. Does it perform any action in that sentence? No, it only expresses the condition of the bottle. From the above, therefore, we can say that a verb describes an action. It indicates a condition or a state of being. Today, we're going to take a look at a set of verbs known as stative and dynamic verbs. I guess they don't sound familiar. Do they? No, they don't. Thank you for being truthful. So, mention the ones you are familiar with main and auxiliary verbs, regular and irregular verbs, transitive, intransitive, linking verbs, and so on. Thank you. Stative and dynamic verbs, learning objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, explain what stative and dynamic verbs are, two, Differentiate between stative and dynamic verbs. Three, use stative verbs correctly in sentences for effective communication. Let's start with dynamic verbs because I really want us to spend some time on stative verbs. Dynamic verbs are verbs that can be used in the continuous tense or ing forms. Continuous tenses are present continuous, I'm teaching, past continuous, I was teaching, present perfect continuous, I have been teaching, past perfect continuous, I had been teaching. Examples of some dynamic verbs in the continuous tenses. Play, he is playing, he was playing, he has been playing. He had been playing. Eat. I am eating. I was eating. I have been eating. I had been eating. Drive. We're driving. We were driving. We have been driving. We had been driving. Another verb. Type. They are typing. They were typing. They have been typing. They had 
been typing. See you after the break. Welcome back. Can we have more examples of dynamic verbs? Listen, dance, teach, sleep, run, work, fight, go, swim, write, travel. Please, I want you to read more on dynamic verbs at your leisure. Stative verbs. What are stative verbs? Stative verbs are static. They are unchanging. This means that unlike dynamic verbs, stative verbs cannot be used in the ing or continuous form whether present, past, or perfect continuous tense. This is because they do not describe actions as dynamic verbs do. Stative verbs at times describe perception, that is, the way we perceive, see, or view things. They also describe relationship between things, they describe feelings, opinions, and so on. Let's consider the use of given stative verbs in the following sentences. I own two houses. You can say, I own, I own, etc. But we cannot say, I'm owning. The flat contains five rooms. It is wrong to say the flat is containing five rooms. I hate being idle. Hate cannot be used in the continuous tense in this context. Hence, it is not correct to say I'm hating being idle. I really want you to have a clear understanding of the difference between stative and dynamic verbs. So just listen and act out the following verbs as I pronounce them. Laugh. Go ahead and laugh. <laughs> you are laughing. Sing. You are singing. Pull your nose. You are pulling your nose. Note that laugh sing and pull, express actions. Therefore, they can be used in the continuous tense. I'm laughing, I'm singing, I'm pulling my nose. Let's see if you can act out the next set of verbs as we did with laugh, sing and pull. Hate, hate someone now. Love. Want. Do you see the difference? Hate, love, want, need, and other stative verbs cannot be used in the continuous form because they only express state, feelings, emotions, opinion, and so on. They are not expressed in actions as dynamic verbs are. Examples, hate, I hate being idle. I am hating being idle is wrong. Love, I love my siblings. I'm loving my siblings is incorrect. Want, the children want chocolate. The children are wanting chocolate is wrong. Need, the boy needs a pair of shoes. The boy is needing a pair of shoes is not correct. However, there are exceptions. There are some verbs that are either stative or dynamic, depending on the situation or context of usage. We'll look at some of such verbs. Think. I think this program is unique. Think in this context expresses an opinion 
Therefore, we cannot say, I'm thinking this program is unique. Enjoy the break. Welcome to the last segment. I'm thinking of learning how to swim. Thinking is used in the continuous form here as a dynamic verb because it expresses an action. Unlike, I'm thinking the program is unique. Thinking there expresses an opinion, not an action. Taste. The food tastes yummy. Taste is used here as a stative verb. You cannot say the food is tasting yummy. It describes the state of the food, not the action of tasting. However, we can say John is tasting the food. Here, taste in the ing form expresses an action of tasting. It is used as a dynamic verb. See, I can see my aunt from the balcony. It is wrong to say I'm seeing my aunt from the balcony. We can have I'm seeing Ratata tomorrow. See used in the continuous form here means meeting. I'm meeting Ratata tomorrow. Still on the verb C in the ING form. My uncle is seeing someone. This means my uncle is dating someone. Love. I love my siblings. Love is used as a stative verb here. It is wrong to say I'm loving my sibling. However, we can have I'm loving this game. Love is used as a dynamic verb, meaning enjoying. I'm enjoying the game. Have. I have a boyfriend, not I'm having a boyfriend. But we can have, I'm having fun. More examples of stative verbs. Like, prefer, deserve, agree, satisfy, smell, know, hear, believe, belong, and so on and so forth. Before we round off today's lesson, you need to know that you must engage in constant practice to be able to use stative verbs effectively. Assignment. Complete each of the following sentences using the stative verbs from the parenthesis. One, my teacher dash fruits every morning has its possesses. Two, I did not dash the answer. Depend on, no, include. Three, the young writers think the professor was dash with their work. Involved, measured, satisfied. Four, be demi dash her mother. Imagines, resembles, walks with. Five, we dash everything about Tom's attitude. Appreciate, include, dislike. Until we meet again, do stay safe.